All right, well, hello everyone. We're back in final control. Can you turn that volume down a bit, please? I can hear myself echoing. And uh, we're just looking for the scorpion. It was found in the in our bedroom earlier. I'm just playing around. We've got it in a glass here. There you go, guys. This is um, this is quite a large scorpion, actually. Beautiful example of a specimen of um, the burrowing scorpions. Why is this not? Hey, sorry. There we go. Give an idea of how big it is. Hey. Sorry, guys, doing this all with one hand. There is the size of the finger. You can see those pincers almost as thick as the front part of your finger. Here's the sting. Again, if you look at the size of the scorpion, well, let's look at the dimensions rather. You, know, you get various species of scorpions. Obviously, none of them are pleasant to be stung by. Ideally, they don't just stung you either. I mean, scorpions don't go around hunting humans. They can't eat us. We're too big. But uh, obviously, if you threaten them, or in this case, this one was found in our bedroom. I'm not sure, Lishan, did, did Lisbeth say? Yeah, um, Under the bed. At the base of the bed. Under the pillows. Yeah. Serious? Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Now, in that case, it's not a good thing because you could be sticking your hand under the pillows and suddenly there's a scorpion and it's feeling like it's getting bothered and it stings you. But typically, these guys, they use the the pincers to catch their food. You can see very powerful pincers. In the sting, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of venom in there. Trust me, if this thing stings you, you're going to be uncomfortable for a day or two. But the venom is more to, to disable the prey once they've caught them with the pincers. If you see this ratio the other way around, if the, if the sting is very big and the pincers are very small, then it's a much more dangerous one. In that case is something that potentially can... Uh, and give you a very mean sting. So I'm going to show you a bit more just now. I just want to get these ND filters off. Here we go. There we go, that sting. Hey, too close. You know, that whole little tip part before the, before the actual sort of, call it the sting itself or the like the needle part of it, that's where all the venom is in. It's quite a, way, it's a nice way to look at the scorpion as well. Look at the exoskeleton. You can see the skeleton of this animal is actually on the outside if you want, with everything else going on inside. You know what I mean? What do scorpions eat? A uh, variety of things. One of the things these guys eat, especially these bigger ones, the burrowing scorpions, is um, you know, let's try and get the angle right without it falling on me. Is um, millipedes, but also all kinds of smaller things. I mean, small beetles, insects, small reptiles, even little lizards. People. Just kidding. They don't eat people. Obviously, the reason was under the pillows. It's just to because um, it's nice and covered there, it's a nice and safe place. Look at that. Well, it's just in case there's another question, we'll give it a minute or so. A quick hello here from everyone. Sorry, Simon just got up, we'll say hello to him as he comes out. Hey Simon, hey. how's it going? Morning, Mr. Erickson. <laughs> and the camera shy lady, Lishan. Look at that. Wait, let's give you a bit of an infinity picture there. Okay. Let's just get over the picture. Now we'll show you an infinite, infinite amount of lesions. Look in the background there. Hey! I love infinity pictures. Let's show another infinity picture there. Haha. And Lisbeth, there's Lishan again while she's agreeing to be on camera. Hey, hey. morning, Lisbeth. Thank you, Lisbeth. Thanks, Lisbeth. You rescued us. Would have been a terrible way to find the scorpion by getting stung. <laughs> Thank you. It's the second one in the last few days. Yeah. Well, guys, let's have a last look at the scorpion, and then I think we're gonna go back to the water. Hole. 
I'll just get a nice there we go give you a nice view of this one hey come on now. hold on guys and just a reminder again the species this is a burrowing scorpion. The other day we saw these guys eating termites. Actually, that's a good point, Rex. Remember that? Uh, that was awesome. So they also eat termites, we now know, uh, even in daylight sometimes. But these guys make little holes underground, typically sort of a keyhole shape, but easy to recognize a scorpion hole as opposed to something from ants or something. All right. Yes. We're going to cook it with some eggs for breakfast. Now guys, we're going to go put this away somewhere far away from camp, maybe by, down by, by the pond or something, a little bit of a distance away. We're just going to release it, and it'll be happy there. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us. Enjoy the water. And if you're out in Africa, keep in mind, always look around for things on the ground, especially summertime. You don't want to be standing on a scorpion or a snake. Bye, everyone. <laughs>